Hey, thanks for meeting me. I appreciate it. You kidding me? I'm not passing out a chance to wear the altar. What you got for me? I know about some things Altor wants to keep buried. Honey, I got shit to do. I don't have time for poetics. Hey, who's being poetic? I'm talking about bodies. Well, why didn't you say so? Anyway, like I was saying, uh, this is weird. But yeah, that was Tara Patrick. That's who the Dr. Patrick of the title is referring to. She's supposed to be an all-tour scientist. Here. Hey, did you find the first body yet? Well, I'd like you to find the damn thing. How do you know about these bodies? Seeing as I'm about to get... Bad girls like you. A what? Read a book. That's not a joke to either. She worked there as a scientist, apparently. like a crazy person to be fair. Was easy. <laughs> oh, okay, not really, but uh, could have been. And yeah, we can hit Terra's. It's a reference we can hit Bernie's. It, it, it's a reference that kind of makes sense considering uh, the dead body, all the dead bodies involved and all. In case someone Weekend of Bernie's was about. It was about two guys who come visit, try to visit their boss's uh, private island or something. When they arrive there, they find out their boss has been killed. Drug overdose, but in reality, it was a mob hit. That, however, they keep the bot, keep them keeping, they decide to keep acting like the body is. alive which really fucks up the uh are you shitting me I can't get down oh yeah I forgot I could just go that way never mind but yeah there's and then there's a sequel we can at Bernie's too 
which uh, is basically more of the same. It's okay. This last time around we had the body, them trying to pretend the body was still alive. What about this? They're not doing a damn thing. I'm listening. Voodoo is causing the body to move. He said, he said Kat Katiev heard that and he decided to uh, not return as director. Thank you, they screw Altor, for screwing up my... getting out. Although, can you blame them? By the way, you want to know what this is kind of leading up to? It's on the back of my jacket, if you want the answer. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Red Faction! <laughs> or it would have been, that's what I was, people would have assumed, until what happens in Saints Row 4. The truck is already kind of near the ATPC. Okay, holy shnikey! To quote Chris Farley from Tommy Boy. I'm just gonna put it on pause for a second here. Fun game, I do love it, and I do love the Saint Row franchise in in general, not just this one. I uh, okay, I'm not a big fan. I've already mentioned this before, I think. I'm not a big fan of the first Saints Row, mostly because, in my opinion, it's San Andreas. It's all it's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas light. It's got the some, uh, but and I say light because the first game tried to take itself too seriously, like it was a serious crime gang crime drama or something. Despite some jokes thrown in. To try to keep tensions down. Gee, yeah, I don't, even I don't get the uh, idea there. Why do you need to keep tensions down? I'm just going to use my shotgun. mission is right is the hard part. Like 
I said, my memory might be a little fatigued. Oh, wait for this one, we have one, a minute and 38 sec, a few minutes just to get there. Because, believe it or not, yes, Altor does not want these bodies in the up on the air. But, guess what? Fuck what Altor wants. We're the Saints. We do what we want! We're the Third Street Saints! We do whatever the fuck we want! Sorry! They made that easy. I think they make that a little too easy. But isn't that bizarre? Flex is a lonely chap. Can you stop crashing into me? Jesus. Okay, we still we only have a few minutes to get across the uh the bridge, guys. Okay, we lost one body. We can't lose any more. Come on! Jesus Christ! Well, we're about to screw up anyways. What's the point? Christ. Yeah, see, I knew that this part was going to be hard because we actually have to get there on time. Try again. Be fair, I don't even know what the fuck happened. I mean, you guys saw that, right? I mean, the truck just went woo right in the air and then landed right on the bridge. Be fair, I don't even think that should be possible. Well, maybe we can get, forget, go and forget and forget while we're at it. Turns out it's not possible. Why it takes so fucking long to get there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, guys, we're almost there. We were almost there. YouTube, sorry. You know what? I have an idea. So, you know what? Never mind. Let's just keep going. It's not much longer to get. I mean, I wonder if I should have chose, should have done the other altor based. One body. That's it. One. We can't lose any more, guys. If you want to be fair, we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there, actually. So now let's just turn off the mic and hear the, see the cutscene that's about to come. Did you have any problems? Nothing I couldn't handle. Good. So now what? We wait for Jane Valderrama to pick up the story. You think she's gonna run it? Channel 6 didn't exactly go crazy over the zombie Lynn story. No one cares about an undead gang member, but everybody hates a big corporation. I'm back, uh, yeah, the reason I'm back and in the car now is because I am very well aware of the fact that, <coughs> sorry about that, I had a cough, um, I'm just going to sit here and listen to the classical music station until the actual news story about what we just did happens. Actually, I'm going to turn off the mic and the capture device because I want to hear the listening to it myself yourselves but anyway see you guys next time for episode